Next, we have something called legs. A leg is simply your first consultant and everyone in their team. So uh, we have leg qualifications. We have something we call star leg. It was active leg before. We're calling it star leg in the future. You'll know why in just a moment. So a star leg is someone with a star consultant in it or 500 sales volume. So this would be a star leg here because it has a star ranked consultant. And a star rank consultant is changing from what it is now. Or it's like it is now, $500 in total sales in that leg. In total sales volume is a star leg for her. We also have something called a director leg. That's simply a leg that has a director somewhere in it. And we have an executive leg. That's simply a leg with an executive in it. As you move up in the career path, then you have something we call director volume. Now this used to be called group volume. We changed it to director volume because your group volume, it, it has the same definition as your group volume does. It's just uh, we wanted to simplify it. We don't really talk about groups anywhere in the new plan. So director volume is the total volume down to, but not including, the next director or higher rank. So it includes everyone's sales volume except that, that director and the consultants underneath her and that executive and the consultants or, and clients underneath her. Everything outside of that would be her director volume. It's call it kind of your own personal team. That's your personal team volume. Then we have something called organizational volume. That's pretty much the same. It's all volume in your, in your organization, all the way to the bottom of the organization. Well, those are the four qualifications um, for heritage makers. Let's look at what we call the career path, at the ranks, and uh, how you qualify at each rank. I've highlighted some of the changes that we are introducing in red. First of all, we're introducing active rank, which we currently have, but we're going to change it to active rank is when you hit 100 sales volume. So it's no longer, we're, we're not going to call it you're active at 500 anymore. You're active when you do $100 of volume. You're, you're involved in your business. You're actively doing something. And so you become an active consultant there. Star is moved to 500 sales volume. Well, we are current, what we previously called active at 500, we're calling star. And we're bringing back the two-star rank. Two-star rank has the same qualifications as today's star. We're just going to call it two-star. So that's some, uh, a little bit of uh, changes there. The other changes that have come up is that silver, gold, executive, and ruby level. You know, as, we've, as we have evaluated our compensation plan and their qualifications at various ranks, we've seen a little bit of a, of a span of time that people take to get from director to silver. Uh, you can see from two star to director, it's, you just need uh, two more uh, star legs and $2,000 of volume. But to go from director to silver in our current plan, you need two more legs and two directors um, in addition to that. And that time to get those two directors just just pushes out the time of rank advancements further than what we'd like. So as part of the new compensation plan, we're going to change that so that silver uh, directors qualify with one director leg instead of two. Golds qualify with two instead of four. Executives qualify with four instead of six. And rubies qualify with six instead of, I think it's seven. What, we, what that does, I mentioned before, is we see a doubling of the number of qualified senior leaders that we have. So we'll see a lot of people who are directors who move right up to silver, a lot of silvers who now qualify as gold. And they'll get those extra rewards or compensation because of that. So we're excited about that part of the compensation plan. 